Hi. Now in this example, we've got to express each of the following in the form 7 to the power k. And we've got in the first one here, the fourth root of 7. And then we've got 1 divided by 7 root 7. And in the third one, 7 to the power 4 times 49 to the power 10. Now to be able to write the first one in the form 7 to the k means that we've got to remember the nth root rule of a number. If you're unfamiliar with that, it's just very briefly x to the power 1 over n is equal to or equivalent to the nth root of x. So if we pick up on that rule here, you can see that n is the 4 and x is the 7. So this is going to be equal to 7 to the power one quarter. Okay? Now in part two, we've got to take one over seven root seven and express that in the form of seven to the power k then. And we can pick up on this previous result over here. We can see this as seven and the square root of seven, well, n would be 2 essentially, so it's going to be 7 to the power half. So we're multiplying 7 with 7 to the power half. And for this, what we do is we just add the powers in the denominator here. This is 7 to the power 1, and we add it to the power half. So 7 to the power 1 and a half. It'd be better though just to write that as a top heavy fraction as 3 over 2, 7 to the power 3 over 2 at that point. Now what do we need to do is then express in the form 7 to the k, so we pick up on another rule and that is that if you have 1 divided by x to the power n, this is identical to x to the power minus n. And so our n is 3 over 2, Okay, so we just rewrite this as being equal to 7 to the power minus 3 over 2. So if we're asked to work out what k was, k for this example would be minus 3 over 2. Now for the last part, okay, part 3, we'll just do it down here. Part 3, we've got then 7 to the power 4 multiplied by 49 to the power 10. And for this one, we take 7 to the power 4, and for 49, that's 7 squared. 7 squared is 49, and all of this is to the power 10. Now for this result here, Again, we should be familiar with the fact that if you've got anything to the power m all raised to the power n, it's identical to x to the power mn. So this one is going to be 7 to the power 20. So what we've got here is 7 to the power 4 then multiplied by 7 to the power 20. And that's going to be easy because all we do is just add the powers. So that's 7 to the power 24. So again, if we ask what k was, k would be 24. Okay, so these are the rules then that you need to be familiar with for this particular question. Okay, and if you've got any problems with indices, I've got tutorials on my website anyway under indices. So hopefully, you know, you can check those out. All right.